We all know the best defense against breast cancer is early detection. Your radiologist might see something in your breast exam that looks suspicious. To find out more, we perform a breast biopsy. That means we take a sample of breast tissue, which is then studied in a pathology lab. Today we have minimally invasive methods for sampling the tissue. That means we use a needle to take the sample with an imaging system for guidance. It's faster and more comfortable than open surgery, and your recovery time is much quicker. Of course it's okay to be nervous about any medical procedure, but it's really not quite as scary as it sounds, and it helps to know ahead of time what's going to happen. Your biopsy will take place in an MRI suite. You'll be lying down on a special table while the team takes images and performs your biopsy. Normally, you'll move in and out of the magnet about three or four times during the procedure. The technologist will be in close contact with you the whole time. Once you're in position on the table, your technologist will very carefully position and compress your breast using the MRI compression coil. Next, she'll move you into the MRI magnet to take some preliminary targeting images. These images will help guide your physician to the exact spot where the tissue sample needs to be taken. Next, your physician will come into the room and explain what's happening. They will clean and numb your breast prior to making a small incision. And then place a targeting tool called an obturator, which visibly confirms positioning in the MRI scan. Then it's back into the magnet for a set of confirmation images. At this point, the physician has targeted the precise point in the breast where the biopsy needs to be taken and positions the biopsy device to take the tissue sample. When the physician begins the biopsy, you'll hear a sound and you may feel some pressure. Vacuum pressure is used to take out the sample, flushing the area with fluid at the same time. They take a few samples to make sure they have enough tissue for diagnosis. This could take a minute or two. You'll hear a beep as each sample is taken. After they've taken the sample, they will reinsert the obturator and move you back into the magnet for a final set of images, just to confirm that everything worked as it should. Finally, a tiny marker is placed at the spot where they took the sample. This can be seen in future mammograms to show the location of this biopsy and to minimize the chance that this location would be biopsied again. Some physicians may take an additional scan to confirm the marker's placement. Then your procedure is finished. The technologist will apply pressure for several minutes and bandage the incision in your skin. Now your technologist will bring you for a post-biopsy mammogram. Once that's done, you can go home. Most women are able to get right back to their normal lives the same day. It's normal to feel some discomfort. There's a tiny nick in your skin that will heal in a few days. Your physician will provide post-procedure instructions. But if you develop redness, tenderness or swelling, or any unusual symptoms, be sure to let your doctor or nurse know about it. Your doctor will contact you to tell you what the lab work indicates and whether any more procedures need to be done. Early detection is the best weapon against breast cancer. A longer, healthier life is something every woman deserves. <laughs>